Hey friends, I welcome you all again to yet another exciting series of our uh, Linux tutorial. So today we'll master netstat command. It's a very important networking command that we use for understanding uh, basic network behavior, especially when it comes to the application uh, connecting on a particular port or how how port is behaving, how IP traffic is behaving, and lot many things. We'll get into the detail of it. So we'll try to cover it through examples. And so let's start. Okay. So what is the netstat? Actually, netstat is a command that displays various network related information such as network connections, routing table, interfaces, statistic. You can masquerade connections, multicast memberships. You can also see the status of TCP UDP ports, what application is listening to what port, and what application is binding to what port. And uh, you can see a number of things which are required when you are running client server based applications, socket based applications. Right? Uh, Sometimes you are port hangs and you're not able to start your application then you can also use netstat to figure out what actually the problem is okay so the basic netstat command is you say netstat hyphen a for for displaying everything and you can pipe it with less or more the way you want it and if you want to do it for only tcp port you attach t to it right similarly for udp port you will attach u to it right and if you want to see listening all the sockets which are in listening mode whether it's tcp udp you say l okay and if you want to bifurcate it into tcp and udp then you usually use it with t and u tabs okay so let's see the practical version of it so i will say net stat okay sorry stat hyphen a I prefer less feature so you see it's an active internet connection and receive sender queue local address right so this is a TCP connection receive queue send queue local address foreign address it's a listening state right so when you say when you say a it will display all TCP UDP Unix and all the possible sockets right and will also show the status it will also show where it is connected listening in what state it is right and all the values so you can analyze and you can figure out the problem or you can you can come to what you are looking at so similarly if you want to see only tcp sockets you say t so now it will display only tcp sockets right it will also see the states, it will also see the foreign address and what application is listening to it, right? All of that. Similarly, if you want to uh, see only UDP, you say U, that's that hyphen AU, and you see all the UDP sockets, right? The application code, okay? And if you want to see all the listening sockets right so you say l and you see all the listening sockets right similarly if you just want only tcp listening sockets you say t you can see all the listening tcp socket similarly if you want only udp listening socket you say u and you have all the udp listening sockets okay okay uh, similarly if you want to see the statistic of each protocol how do you do it network statistic you say hyphen s for statistic and you see right statistic so ip address total packet to see these are invalid packets and these are incoming packets this was the outgoing packet i see the messages when i scroll down you can see all the information like the active connection is a passive field attempts right you can get all the information and if you want to bifurcate into tcp udp you say st for only tcp informations 
and you can say as you for UDP related information right if you wanted to continuously show the information you say yes. you can see you have to remove less use the command so it will it will be displaying the data on the real time right okay so you can you can see whatever you want right similarly now there is specific requirement when I I want to display the PID and also the program to uh, program names to understand what which socket is binding to which I say I say LP okay so I will have uh, okay sorry it's not IP it's LP not interface which is on LP see I can see uh, I can see which application is listening to which port, right? And what is the application name, right? So you can get all these details, right? Using very simple command, LP, right? Similarly, you can do it with for TCP ports, right? So you have this application on this port. You have send mail on this, HTTPD on this, SSH on this. Right, all are listening. Similarly, you can have UDP in the same way. Okay, okay, so let's move on to our tutorial. We completed this listening software, we also completed the statistic and the PID part. Once again, if you want to see network statistic, you say network hyphen S. For uh, it will it will see uh, it will uh, dump all the network statistic right and if you buy for want to buy for kit you, you can use hyphen t and hyphen u for TCP and UDP respectively. Similarly, if you want more details like PID and program name, you say netstat hyphen lp right and uh, for TCP you say ltp UDP for up lup and ip will uh, show both the details okay if you want the netstat information to be continuously displaying so you say netstat hyphen c and similarly if you want to do it for tcp you say tc for uh, for uh, of course network statistic so you say uh, sc all right and suppose if you want to see the detail of all the address family that are supported or not supported, you can add that type of robots. So let's do the practical session. Let's clear this. Oh, sorry. Okay, so I the net stat hyphen C for continuously updating. Okay, so we are. Similarly, you can get it continuous update for the TCP packet. Okay, TCP connection. You can get it for UDP also. Continuous update. Okay. Similarly, you can do it for network status. Right? Network status. Okay. Suppose if you want to see ki what are non supportive address family in your system. You say net set hyphen hyphen verbose, it will give you all the details. So, these are the non supportive address family by your system. Okay, you don't support AF, IP, AX, AF, AX25, AX625, NetOM, and then you also get the all the supported family as well. Okay, so let's go to our tutorial to see what else is left. Okay. So, if you want to see the routing table, that uh, uh, you know what is routing, that which IPs are allowed to pass through, or which IPs are allowed to reach to host, or go out, or come in. So, all the on the IP table, I mean, you can see all the kernel routing information using netstat hyphen R. If you want to find which application is binding on which port, so you say netstat hyphen AP. And you need to grab the application, it will get the port. You can also do a reverse of it. You say netstat hyphen an 
and you grab the port it will give you the application that is binding to it so these are very helpful while debugging some applications right and if some application is not behaving in the way it is expected so these are the ways that we need to look into right similarly if you want to show the list of the network interfaces you say i and if, if you want more extended view you say ie okay okay so let's first try this out in the session okay Keyboard has some problem, it seems. Okay, so if I want to see the uh, kernel routing table, I say that's set iPhone R, and you see it's a I kernel I, IP routing table, it's a destination, gateway, mask, flag, and Ethernet. So, this IP, all the gateway, this is the mask you allowed to this interface, right. So I mean you can just you can see network routing chain, right? Similarly, suppose if I want to see SSH, my I want to figure out what to what port my SSH is binding. So I will say net stat. I will say AP. I will pipe it with crap SSH, and I can see to which port is accessing, right? Okay, then SSHT, right? So I can, I can, I can find SSHT is listening to which port and everything, right? Similarly, if I want to see the, uh, on what port uh, 80 on 8080 80 port which application is listening, I can say, I can say this, and Okay, but I need also to mention P because I need the program name. So I can see the SATTD is listening on 80 port, right? Okay, so now let's see what are the interfaces we have using netstat hyphen I. So it give you uh, I have ETH0 and loopback with this MTU sign and this is the RX and this is the PF currently there is no error and the flag ok so it gives you the kernel interface table detail also and if you want it in the way the IP if config command gives you give it the extended form the same thing in the extended form in a more elaborative format, right? So let me say detail using the IP config command. Okay. So let's go back to the tutorial. Okay. So now, suppose you want to see all the Unix listening ports. You say LX X for the Unix and L for the listening. This playing uh, promiscuous mode. Yeah. What is promiscuous mode first? Promiscuous mode is when you set your uh, uh, net start to promiscuous mode what it does it uh, sets your ethernet into such a mode that it will accept all the packets right it will not filter the packet which is only intended for it but it will accept all the uh, packets and this is for snooping or uh, when you want to debug or analyze then you put generally your ethernet in the promiscuous mode right so how you do it you say netest netstat hyphen ac5 so he, it, it's saying that uh, you're putting net uh, netstat in hyphen is for promiscuous mode you say c for continuously updating every five seconds and you just want to see the tcp all the tcp traffic that is coming to your ethernet right so this is how you do it and if you want to uh, see the multicast uh, subscription information you can say netstat hyphen z and similarly if you want um, to have the raw network status that we have already done with hyphen s but when you say raw it gives some additional information as well right so let's go and complete this through practical session 
okay so I say net stat hyphen LX for all the listing in Unix sockets okay so it gives a list of UDB, uh, sorry, list Unix sockets okay similarly suppose if I want to set my uh, Ethernet in promiscuous mode I say AC update in every 5 seconds or I, I can say 2 seconds I say grab all the TCP connections right so it will update in every 2 seconds and it will tell me about all the TCP connection right in promiscuous mode okay similarly if I want to know about my multicast subscription information group and I say nested G and I can see IP6 IP4 multi uh, multicast group membership right these are the interfaces right so this is the information right currently I have no, no subscriptions multicast subscriptions right okay <laughs> similarly I have already covered it but uh, a more detailed version of that is uh, if you want to see the network statistic right you say statistic okay as a statistic you want the complete raw data of it say this right so it will give you complete raw data okay so uh, this was uh, this was quite comprehensive overview of NetStat command. I have given all the practical things that I have used myself in the production system. I know there are other uses of it as well. So if you have any, please share with me. Share with uh, everybody who is attached to this channel. And if you find this tutorial of any help, then please like it. Share with your friends share your feedback with me and help me improve okay if you have any query then you can also ask okay so this was it for today okay bye signing off